What's up guys, May from itech 2 d 4 So today iOS 6 was officially released by Apple. Now I did a video a while back when the first beta was released on some of the main features and most of that stuff still holds true, nothing really major changed, just a few kind of UI changes. But everything else I covered in that video is the same, but the one thing that I didn't cover was Passbook and that is because it was not available at that time. Now that the official release is out, Passbook now works and the updated apps that support Passbook are being released every minute. So I'm going to show you guys how it works and what it looks like. I'm going to be using the Target app because that is the easiest one to use. So you can go ahead and download this and basically you're going to be able to use the coupons that Target offers in your area in Passbook. So you're going to want to go ahead and open it up. Now this is going to differ from app to app. This one's just easy because it's free and you don't have to actually buy anything. But basically you want to go find where the option would be that you would be able to use something in Passbook. In this case it's for mobile coupons. Once you set all that up you're going to have to sign in and stuff. Just go ahead and go in here. You're gonna see that I have all my coupons here in this Target app. So this is the coupon that they offer for this week until the 28th. And normally you would just go and scan the app itself. But now you can scroll down all the way to the bottom. And right here it says add to passbook. So I'll go ahead and click that. Then it brings it up. This is what it's gonna look like. I can just say add. And now it is added to passbook. So I can no longer need to use the Target app. I'll go over to passbook and there it is. So it's really cool because it's a nice way to keep all your stuff organized. You don't have to put it in different places. And from using it, it seems to be pretty stable and looks very clear, so it should be able to scan no problem, and I like it a lot. One cool thing is that you can see details about your card, so just click the little eye here, and it's gonna show you that it's in the Target app in this case, so I can go ahead and open up the app if I wanted to. You can automatically update, so every time a new coupon comes out, it's gonna automatically update it here. And if you get near a Target, or you can go ahead and tell it to send you a notification, and that'll pop up on your lock screen. So if we go ahead and scroll down, you'll see all the information about the coupon so this is pretty much everything that the coupon offers so you know exactly what you're getting and it's really nice it works very well so say I don't want this target coupon anymore all I have to do is click the trash button up here it's gonna say are you sure you want to do this I'm gonna say yes and it's gonna shred it like that so it's a nice cool animation that kind of simulates a real piece of paper so it's really nice here this is what it looks like normally before you have anything installed and you can go ahead and go to the App Store to show you all the apps that are available for Passbook like I said, these are being updated currently, so bear with it if your favorite app isn't in there yet, but it's being updated quite fast, and there's a lot of apps that support it. So guys, that is my quick video on Passbook, just giving you a quick demonstration. If you want to see the video I made on iOS 6, just click right here, and you'll be able to go over there and watch that video. It'll also be in the description below. Passbook, in my opinion, seems to be very good, and seems to work very well so far. It's not quite NFC like people wanted, but scanning works just fine and it's still pretty cool. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content on iOS and the new iPhone 5, which should be in in a few days. Again, my name is Matt from iTech224, and I'll see you guys in my next video. See ya.